Darren, you, you can what are you doing? You had it back or what? I'm out of the back here, Trev. Look, just the over here, look. look. Oh, good, mate. Yeah, yeah. Ow! You okay? Why are the steps in front of the door? Yeah, well, we're t remember we're doing the house up, we're painting it and all that, so I do apologise about that. Is know? my knee supposed to be bending backwards? Is that, well, you can claim that insurance. <laughs> I'm glad you find it funny. <laughs> you can claim that on the insurance we haven't got, okay? Um, hello everyone and welcome to... Hey, so, Trev, hang on, Darren, Darren. What? Painters are in. The painters are in. I think, I think it's fair to say, should we give people a heads up, wiki that people, wiki it, just just Google the painters are in and see what happens. Hang on, I can't get this on a tripod, I've got to be professional, here we go, no, no, are, we now, are we on? We're locked and loaded. Are we on? Are we on? Locked and loaded and yeah. it's live. Trev, it's good, to, it's good to be back Trev. I know. It feels like ages since we were last. Well you've been travelling, I've been busy. Yeah I know, I know, but here we are, we're back, we're back at Beer Sweden HQ, uh, like this by the way Trev, is that your idea? No, mate. I don't like flowers you really and stuff. You are actually. You like, you know, you're big and gruff and all that sort of thing. But at the heart, is a beats a poet, beats an artist. Apparently, I'm not big. What was that comment the other day? Trev's little. You can put them in a bag. Well, who said that? When I say big, I mean big personality. I don't mean obviously big stomach. Was, was that just, was that the happy manker who said that? Cats just jumped into my house. Let's jump back out again. Wrong house. Oh, right. Okay. Um, anyway, that's got nothing to do with what, what we're doing, Trev. Beer review, I think. Beer review, exactly. And what I want to do today, because we've been a little bit, you know, we haven't been keeping up really, have we? No, in, not really. In, on, in, in the video. So we're gonna, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and catch up a little bit with some of the uh, autumn beers that have been released at the Sustainable Target um, in the last few weeks, yeah? Um, because really, you know, if you look around you now, you can see that the leaves are changing colour, it's getting a little bit colder, that's why I'm wearing a t-shirt, Trev. Um, and uh, the beers are kind of reflecting that. You'll see that a lot of the beers that are being released right now, people are drinking slightly darker, almost like I kind of think, because uh, the poet in me thinks, Trev, uh, that as the, as the colours of the leaves shift, so do the colours of my beer. So I like them to be oh, nice. Oh dear. Huh? What do you think? There's a poem in It's actually un un unusually warm for October. It is, it's unseasonable. Oh, almost October. Um, and this is one of the beers that came up in the, uh, in the um, autumn uh, sort of batch of beers that came to the system Belaga. Hold it um, I, I love well, I've, the few beers I've tasted of Doogies have been absolutely delicious. Doogies is a, is, a beer, is a brewery from Gothenburg that we see unfortunately far too little of, uh, I think well across the up country, here, yeah. certainly up here it's very very difficult to, for us to get a hold of their beers. I think the last one was their number one lager, uh, since then there's been pretty much nothing and that's a real shame because I tell you what these guys uh, really do produce excellent beer. Avenue Bollocks. Avenue Bollocks, Idiot, all these ones that we've tried but we haven't been able to get at the system Belage. Uh, now this one is the Hust uh, Trev, I'm going to throw up the little, uh, do the clickety click thing. They're the stats at the system Belage. Uh, check it out. Uh, now this is what I want to talk to you about this particular beer. It is a, uh, it is a brown ale in style uh, and it has its roots very much in the British style of brown ale. Okay. Uh, and that's something I want to talk to you a little bit about British contra American brown ales because there's been a little bit of talk, a little bit of back chat Trev on the Beer Sweden forum about British styles of beer somebody said, control yourself here, don't get angry he's looking at me people like he's already daggers some people have been saying, and I won't mention any names uh, have been saying that British beer styles are boring Trev, what have we got to say about that? You told me to keep quiet. Okay, you keep quiet because you're going to swear. <laughs> okay. All right, but listen. Um, uh, a lot of people have been saying that. Uh, a lot of people. Some people have been saying that British beer stars are basically boring, and it's all about America these days. You know, America are taking traditional British stars and they're actually giving them interest. But okay? where does their actual template come from? Well, <laughs> well, you see, there is my point. Um, uh, this. Uh, it's like people who think that football was invented in Brazil. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, listen. Yes, exactly. Well, actually, that's a pretty good analogy. This beer, I think, pretty much sums it up for me. This is a, a British style of brown ale, um, which uh, so they've actually, I believe, uh, foregone all the sort of you know the, the very headliney uh, American hops that are being used in practically every beer at the moment, uh, and they've gone back to a very malt structured based uh, beer, a beer at five percent. So that's quite log on in terms of alcohol drinkability of course factor should be pretty high on this one and that's British beer in a nutshell of course uh, we want that um, let's actually um, I mean look look wise absolutely true to form brown ale nice almost like russet rusty brown to it and a slightly off-white head there Trev a little bit sticky can you see that yeah. nice I think we're gonna get a sweet beer out of this one got some nice sort of uh, stickiness to the size of the glass there shall we Trev give it 
a whirl. Go for it. Okay, give it a whirl. Very important to do that, of course. Now, on the nose, it's got that lovely sort of nutty, woody. When I, when I talked about autumn and leaves, it's as though you've actually just gone and grabbed a load of those sort of slightly brown, wet leaves and you shove those in there. This is pretty much autumn in a glass, uh, but nutty and very light sort of caramel notes to it. So a really nice, attractive, um, inviting nose on it. And in the mouth, oh, this is what I love about, this is British style of beer, absolutely, because it's got uh, it's got quite a, it's got a medium mouthfeel. Uh, I, I'm not going to say it's rich, it's dense, it's thick, it's not. It's, it's medium mouthfeel, but it's got a lovely sort of espresso burnt component to it, uh, which gives it a little bit of edge, a nice dry sort of finish. But you know what, Trev, what's so good about it? Is that you can drink it, you can drink it all day long. This is one of those beers that you can drink more than one of. And as I say, that British beer, to me. Can I have a quick uh, go? Absolutely. Um, and I want to come back to this point about um, about American style beers, contra British beers. I actually totally believe that there's a time and a place for both of those. Um, American beers are fantastic, and of course, a lot of them are very sort of bl mm. blingy and and and, uh, and 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 very loud and in your face, and they're designed to be that way. They've got a, a shock element to them, and that's great, and they work too. But let's not forget these styles of beers, the British styles of beers as well, and others, you know, traditional old world beer producers. Um, they really do produce drinkable beers. Uh, I would argue um, that they fit um, just as well in certain places, certain situations, as some of these sort of you know, headline grabbing American beers. May I say something? Mm. Of course, Trev. Um, this type of thing, go on, go on, oh, go on. Carry on. You carry I'll fend it off, go on. Actually, you've got the lens, that was really good. That's going to look good on camera. You might even slow it down. Um, without your Spitfires and, and this type of thing, like proper brown owls, I'm saying proper because it's what they were. Yes, I do understand that this, the spectacle of the, new, the American stuff, and I love it. I mean, I like the, I like the brew dog stuff, like um, punk and stuff like that, which is leaning towards the Ameri yeah. way out towards yeah. the American. Mm -hmm. But exactly as, as you say, why does that mean? I mean, if you if you decide you like a certain type of music now, does that mean you can't like the music you liked when you were younger? Exactly, exactly. And there's nothing wrong uh, with going back to those styles. Yeah, it's not untrendy and it's not uncool. No, to not at all. Them. Uh, and, and more In fact, it's quite poncy to say otherwise. Trevor, more isn't always better. No, I think exactly. we'll finish on that because that's really trying, what I'm trying to say in a nutshell. Anyway, people, um, until the next time when we're going to. That might have been open, a smash and grab. That was almost a smash and grab, Trevor. Until the next time, I'll tell you what we're going to do. The next beer we're going to do, we're going to do another brown ale. Uh, but this time it's going to have bags, loads of American hops in it. And then we'll compare. Yeah? Cheers and beers, everyone. You know what you've got, don't you, mate? I know, I know. How so often good. do you do this? Well, I don't know. Do you never learn? I'll tell you why, it's because we don't do it enough, you see. I'm beginning oh, to I'll tell you what, we're on. Are we on? Yeah. Uh, guess what we forgot to do, Trev? Rate the we flipping rate beer. Rate it. Okay, um, now, I like the drinkability. I like the fact that this is a sessionable beer. Uh, it's got a lovely flavour of autumn in it. It's got that nice sort of espresso mocha burnt component to it. Uh, I'm giving it four out of five. Nice one. Nice one.